Alright, I'm Matt and I'm back with Fallout 4, where last time we crossed the glowing, glowing sea to the rocky cave in an attempt to find Virgil. And today we are going to head on into that rocky cave. The Virgil's laboratory. Let's see. Seems like there is something here. Uh oh. Okay, now it's friendly. And I suspect so is this. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Hmm. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's dead. Don't you lie to me. Um. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? <laughs> Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? <laughs> Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. <laughs> what do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab and, well, look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? You help me and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Hmm. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? A courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. 
Why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute. Remember? There, your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pit boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. <laughs> not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Uh, Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. <laughs> I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. <laughs> Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. Hmm. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you did what the Brotherhood taught you. Then you understand why it had to be done. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic, but I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It'll never come to that. I promise. Even though I'm well aware that you have no control over it, I appreciate the sentiment. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Well, I could have flirted with dance, but... <laughs> uh... 
Ooh, so much stuff. Yeah. Is there anything interesting? Ooh, log entries. Log entries are good. Found old terminal in repair shop. Needed repair. Got it working. Hard to type. Fingers too big. Still looking for materials for serum. Only hope now. Number two. Materials hard to find. Glowing C2 damaged by war. Did not fully consider implications. Was only thinking of survival. Safety from anyone trying to follow. People in crater may be ab able to help. Mentally unstable but apparently immune to radiation. Aldrin would love them. Hoping they have larger keyboard. <laughs> Three. Children of Atom cannot help. They are just as starved for materials, but are too proud to admit desperation. Occasionally losing feeling in extremities, slight gaps in memory, trying to remain positive, but if condition deteriorates, need to reproduce serum soon. Serum can't be made here. Tools unavailable. Hands too clumsy to perform any delicate actions. Typing getting harder. Makes me too angry. No way back in to get original sample of serum. Must consider that my condition may be permanent. I must consider that my condition may be permanent. Okay, so he is kind of turning into a super mutant. These noxious fumes are quite revolting. Protect and serve. The uh, wanna bet that the next. You find a courser, don't underestimate it. The chip's no good if you're dead. Wanna bet that the next time we come around here, Virgil is a full on super mutant and we have to put him down as well? Let's hope not, but it's entirely possible. Going crazy on my suit. Eh, it's not that bad. So, we would have to head to the CIT. What was that? Coast Guard Pier. Oh! Oh. oh! I'm considering maybe checking out some of these places, but... Really? On the other hand, if we have to head there for more holotapes... Hmm... Let's head on over to that factory. Oh, wait, I have a level up. And I had only noticed uh, just before starting this that there was another level up that I hadn't taken. All right, let's go there. Well, let's see if we can see anything in here, right? not where they're coming from, but whatever. Uh -oh. something left of that guy. Okay. That kind of works. Not quite as planned, but 
it works. Okay, we need to. Interesting that I can go in here. I was worried I couldn't get back out, but that also works. Even better. Ooh. Right away, Mantats a safe. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Yes. And plenty of technical documents in here. And more right away. And there's another storm outside. But that's outside and we are inside. So no worrying about that. Until of course we go back outside. Then again here in the glowing sea. There's not much difference between a storm and no storm. Right, uh, we need to go northeast-ish. Let me see. Well, actually, kind of east, and then we can go north following the highway. Also, I kind of want to check in at the pier. Uh, there's the CRT ruins. We could just fast travel there, but I do want to see if we can find any more places around here. Let's go in the east northeasterly direction. I don't really need the light out here. And there is a place, a kind of cave, up to the northeast. Okay. Right here. on top of it. Cave. Hmm. Ah, we got time. Oh boy, <laughs> I need to switch out the assault rifle for the uh, shotgun again because I'm running pretty low on ammo. Huh. 
Oh. Right. Didn't really notice the hunter until I... Because I was too concentrated on this red rocket. Stuff here. they called again the thing where you have medical supplies in don't remember oh a safe a master locked safe nope oh come on there we go Need the forty four. I will take the duct tape. Oop. What I wanted. So still going east, north, east, that away. The cave is southeast, but that's okay. Can live with that. There we go. Uh. I don't think we're alone. Boom. Acted blood dog. That didn't work. Okay. And there's a vault over there. Okay. Just want to discover those places. Empiric <laughs> blood bug. There. Oh, come on. We may have a problem here. Yeah, no shit. Oh, 
how that works. Oh. There's the other one. Right. Huh. There's even a church to the south. Well, I guess we are exploring the glowing sea today. Edge of the glowing sea. I see. Then we can head on south on the you know, southeast rather. We need to get out of this radiation now. Come on, don't be like that. You're fine. So well, mostly. in the glowing sea come on there we go hey vault 95 okay and we got a local map here can't make heads nor tails of it. Who? Oh. Those would be the gunners. That's where they come from, isn't it? Let's not deal with that. Huh, I like that effect. The rain on the... On the HUD. Legendary albino red scorpion. Got a feeling like maybe those red scorpions bugged out. No, that was done. When was the game last saved? Here. I can't be for a neutralized. I heard Send them back to hell. Just checking if I can pick up any other blood bugs. You hear that? <laughs> like that one. There we go. This is the part of the job that I love. Oh, come on. Now, where did I kill that vampiric blood bug? Kinda gone, isn't it? Oh well. Oh, let's take that one, eh? In fact, let us see. That was after we'd been to the cave. Okay, that's good. That is good. I'll just heal up a little bit so we don't... Um, run into the same problem that we just ran into, if you know 
dying to a bunch of red scorpions. Leather right arm. Oh, but it's pretty weak. Leather ash blossom. Let's take that. You don't have to get up for me. Neither do you. those places again. <laughs> Geiger's going crazy on my suit. Actually going lower. It was worse before. Right. So how did we do this? We followed the highway. Somehow passed by the red scorpions. Let's add them aggroing. how it worked okay because I went on the other side of the highway you forgetting they can do that yeah I crossed the highway get to the to the vault and that is why we managed to bypass the red scorpions or how we managed to bypass them that okay just a tree Legendary gunner, okay. Let's not pick a fight with them yet. Not today. We need to go a little to the southwest. And a little more to the southwest. I see it. Wow even a plane and a power fast thing blowing stingwing so this is part of a church apparently Oops, March Pentecostal Church. Or whatever is left of it. Yikes! I 
it went pretty well. <laughs> Is there even a way to get in there? Probably. Probably via the tower, right? Uh, it's possible. Scorpion. There we go. What I wanted. Hmm. Well, I suspect we can just drop in, oh, or we can do that. some fire support there. Circus Death Clock Gauntlet. Okay. There are more of those guys somewhere. Oh, there we have to save. Sneaking when I've got the light on. Um. All right, we picked up all of that right away. Is dead. Good. Lucky leather chest piece. I see. Hmm. Well, there are a few feral ghouls right around here. Ooh, pre war money. Bobby pin. Good work. How am I doing for weight? Ah, not too bad. Thanks to the power armor. So, where were we? There. Dance is still, still hanging out up on the roof. Isn't too bad. Because that's where we 
just came out. Right. Now we... This is a kind of long episode, so I think I'll just cut it here. And then next time we are going to continue our exploration of the... Okay. Of the glowing sea. We'll find out if there are more places we can find, like that plane that's, that's on the radar. I'd be interested in that just a little bit. And there's also another cave to the southwest. I think that'll that's going to be where we go next. So, until then, thank you and good night.